Oh, hello there. Welcome back to my lab. Today we're going to work on the electronics of the 3D printing enclosure. Our boys have 3D printed an electronics enclosure, and now they're coating it with wood fill. Now I know what you're thinking. That's not wood! Exactly, but after we sand it down, this enclosure will be nice and smooth and ready for paint. Now we're adding on our exhaust fan, and our boys have added an activated charcoal filter. Here we're adding weather stripping to the door because it seemed like a good idea at the time. I guess it works okay. It improves the fit a little and makes it less noisy to close. So yeah, weather stripping. This is the plexiglass our boys have selected for the window. We're gonna glue it on to the hole we cut out earlier and it'll be good to go. This 3D printed filament spool holder will hold the filament spool for the 3D printer.
placing one pulley on the outside and another on the inside, we'll be able to guide the filament from the spool into the machine. So here's the electronics that are going to go into the uh, enclosure here. Uh, this is actually going to go inside the chamber itself. It's just a temperature sensor, so this will uh, communicate serially. So I need to punch a hole through the enclosure, get this guy to go in here, and plug it into my electronics. It actually goes in right here. This is uh, mostly just makeshift really quick because it's not uh, the greatest thing we've ever made, so I'm just kind of whipping it together so we can get back to the Skittle sorter. Um, let's see, what do we have here? The uh, temperature sensor goes in here. We've got uh, the display and an, an encoder, which you'll see in a second. And then the uh, fan control goes right here. So right here, this is uh, the cover that I 3D printed earlier. And uh, so we just have an encoder knob, which is, man, the most fantastic knob ever. I really like 3D printing. I've never been able to buy a knob that's this good. So good. Uh, so really it all just needs to go plug in together. Let's start doing that. All right, here I've won the, run the wires. Uh, we've got the power right here. This is just 12 volts to the, the microcontroller. And then this is that uh, the, temperature con uh, the temperature sensor that I showed you earlier. I'm just gonna run that from, from the actual printer enclosure into the electronics enclosure. Right in there. Like that. So that'll look really nice and tidy right there. Uh, and then we've got the uh, the fan control right here. So let's see. Slip this guy in here. Here goes the fan. Most of this will be just tucking things in. There we go, now it's time to power it up. All right, here's the display. You uh, simply set the temperature up in the top in Celsius with the knob, which uh, for PLA I'll set that to 30. Then the, uh, the fan up here will attempt to keep the enclosure this temperature within its own power. And we just have it uh, flashing back and forth to avoid it burning into anything specific. And that way you can just look over and see what, uh, what the internal temperature is. Now it's done. So now we can make a huge mess and nothing will get in through the 3D printer. And when I need a part, I just open this up, grab this, and done. It's pretty good. Oh, hello! I'm so happy you're here! <laughs> Welcome back to the lab! Wow, I don't know what we were doing. I think we're going to take a look at the box! We're doing electronics for the box! Oh my goodness! Yes! 